Not our usual time, but tomorrow's Halloween, so we're doing an early live stream. It's Heather Boyd Wire, it's Wire Lady TV, one week early, and uh, I'm gone back to my old way of filming on my iPod because my, um, my other methods where I tried to do screen on screen uh, wasn't working so well, like the quality wasn't super well and my hands kept going off the screen. And actually, oh, Clarice is the first one on. Hey, Clarice, how are you? I'm just going to pull up the live stream here, put down the sound. There we go. So we have no uh, backup sound. And you are the first one in the chat. That's awesome. And Clarice, you've already done a lot of the Halloween uh, crafts. And Kat's here. Hey, Kat, how are you? You guys got the, the memo that I was going to do it a day early. Uh, tomorrow we're actually going downtown for Halloween and uh, we're going to go see some comedy tomorrow night. Actually, we're going to go see three comedy shows. We're going to go with our friend Jeffrey. He's a comedian and he's going to uh, bring us around and we're going to hop from one comedy show to another. And here's Joey. Joey, I haven't seen you in a long, long time. Welcome back. That's awesome. Uh, Joey, tell us in the comments what you've been working on. Um, I know you do a lot of crochet, but let us know uh, what you've been working on. We haven't heard from you for a long time. And yeah, so today we're going to do some Halloween stuff. Actually, we're going to keep it pretty simple today. And here's Linda. Hi. Hey, Linda. How are you? And, uh, and fa everybody's fantastic. That's awesome. I'm so happy. And yes, yeah, so I'm going to actually today do a little experiment because somebody posted in the Facebook page. For those of you who don't know the Facebook page, here's Connie. Howdy. So uh, the Facebook page is called the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club. And on that, uh, um, we share all kinds of pictures of our work. And Ophine says, hello, hello, hello. And um, so somebody shared a while back, and if you're on the call, uh, on the uh, live stream, let me know if it's you. And Joey's been working on Christmas gifts and orders. That's awesome. Uh, so somebody posted a picture of a spider. I don't know if it was an earring or a pendant with little twisted wire legs. And I thought it was super, super cute. Uh, I will find out who it was and shout them out in the description of the replay of the video. Uh, when I find it. So I thought I'm going to try to make that one because I've done a lot of uh, spiders, beaded spiders and webs before, but I thought that was really cute because it didn't need any um, beads on the legs. So I'm going to flip my screen around now and show you what I've got and then we're going to try to make the spider. And you guys can let me know in the comments what you're doing for Halloween if you guys get kids uh, trick-or-treating and stuff. So let's switch around the camera there we go my nice basement and we're going to just flip it down and find the best place to put the camera so we don't see any of these lines I, what i do is i prop it up if you guys want to know how i do the live stream i just prop it up on a grid and i just have to move this if i move the cord around a little bit it's going to stay in place and while you're while I'm adjusting the cord, you can see some of these other Halloween projects that I've done before. So I think what I might have to do is actually I'm gonna get a piece of wire and um, and hold this in place. Sorry guys, just bear with me for a second. I'm just going to wind a wire around here so that this will stay in place. And you guys can chat in the meantime on the comments and let me know what you're doing for Halloween and stuff. We used to get a lot of kids in our area, but not so many anymore. Actually, it's sort of the second wave of kids now that uh, because all the kids that uh, were living here when Mimi was little, they're all grown up. So. so there we go. So I think I'll be able to see what I'm doing now. Let's hope it's bright enough. I think so. And what I have here are just a couple of samples of some older stuff that I made. This was really cute. It's like a little uh, beaded uh, skeleton. And what I'm going to do is link up below my playlist. I have a playlist of Halloween uh, DIYs that I'll link up. So I'm not going to redo these ones because these ones I've done in previous live streams. And so here's one actually was really cute. It's a skeleton with kind of a wire, uh, a wire rib cage. So a pretty sure I have one for that. I'm going to link it up. And then if you guys want a super quick uh, pair of Halloween earrings, you could definitely make these little ghost earrings. They're super fast. All you need is a bead, a head pin, some fabric, and some wire. 
and I will link up. If you just actually go to my playlist about Halloween crafts, you're going to find how to do these too because they're super, super cute and easy. And so there we go. So uh, YT in Dallas is here. So there we go. Awesome. Everybody's hopping on. So let's try to do the spider in the web. And that's going to be my goal for tonight is to get that one down. So yeah, you guys could definitely do the ghosts. And uh, why don't we actually start with the spider web? I think I'm going to start with that one because that's pretty simple. I might have already done this one on a live stream before, but I'm going to make it slightly different. And so what I'm starting with is this could be probably an 18 gauge wire is the best or 20 gauge. You could definitely get away with 20 gauge. And what I'm going to do is just cut three pieces of this wire that are two inches long. And uh, as always, if I get distracted with the um, with the project and I don't get all the comments, you guys, please chat amongst yourself. I love it when you do that. And uh, for people that are watching the live stream, you can still comment and ask questions below if you have any uh, questions about designs or what have you. I'll be more than happy to ask or to answer. So here's three pieces of your thicker wire. And then what you want to do to make the spider web, I believe when I made this one before, I made it with one long piece of wire. This one I'm actually doing in a similar style to a snowflake. And that I do, and I don't happen to have the snowflake handy, but it's a kind of a very similar style to how I set up the beaded snowflake. And I do have a, a, a tutorial on how to make the beaded snowflake that I could link up below as well. So, and then for this one, you need a good long piece, like at least, I would say maybe 18 inches. Might be less than that. It's gonna, I haven't made this in a long time, so we're gonna see exactly how much that I need. And the tricky, tricky part is to set this up. So what you want to do is actually crisscross two of these wires, like sort of an X formation. Make sure they're semi-centered. Uh, and then you want to take one of... Whoops, see, it's already falling down. So let's just start with one to make it easier. So we'll start with one, and we're going to take our thinner wire. This could be 22 or 20 even better 24 gauge wire probably. So we're going to just actually twist the thinner wire all the way around once and clip clip the end now just to make it easier and then you don't have to worry about it later. Okay. And so then this wire, the, the 20, uh, 18 gauge wire I'm using is a little bit soft. So it, it's kind of bending a little bit, but that's okay. We can uh, straighten it out later. So now you're going to crisscross the other thicker wire on top to make a little bit of an X. Now this part is tricky just to start, but once you get it going, it's not tricky at all. And it's actually kind of similar to the God's Eye. I don't know if you guys remember the God's Eye one. So there we go. So there we go. <laughs> YG is in the house. <laughs> right on. So there we go. Let's, let's twist this one around like that. We're going to go like that around there. And then we're going to twist this one around. We're going to add, add the this uh, third piece of wire. And like I said, if it looks tricky, it's because it is a little bit, but just to get it going, okay? And the idea is kind of try to grip the wires with your with your fingers like all at once so they don't get squeezed together. That's the hardest part is to keep the spacing amongst them. And then as you go, I don't know if you guys can see. So as we go, we're just going to fix it up so it just stays in shape. These are going to wiggle a little bit. And then we're going to go to the next one. So the idea is we just want to keep twisting it. We want to keep it tight around the center until we have all the wires securely in place. So let's just get all the wires securely in place first. And then we'll have a little more leeway. See, and sometimes it bends and then you just bend it back. So we're just going to go around and this is Halloween guys. So it doesn't have to be super perfect. It can be a little bit crooked if you, you know, and sometimes it even looks nicer when it's a little crooked and artsy. I tend to make things a little too uh, stiff and tight. So there we go. So now we have our basic shape where it's all uh, tied together sort of in the middle. So now what we want to do is we want to keep winding the wire, but in a way that it's going to get a little more, spaced out there so like a like a spider web so 
we've got the center done. So now we're going to just spread it out a little bit. Okay, so just leave a little bit of space around it. And you're gonna see as I go that it's gonna start looking more and more like a spider web. And depending on how big you want the earring, uh, if you want like tiny spider webs, you could definitely use a thinner wire. But for Halloween, probably you want something a little more uh, that shows a little bit more. So let's just go ahead with what we're doing here. And in theory, you could just keep going till you run out of wire. Actually, if you do run out of wire before uh, you want to run out, you can add wire after. So let's just keep going around like this and we'll keep twisting it around and then we'll just keep going until it looks good. Like, can you guys see how it's coming along? It's starting to look like a spider web. And in the other design I did before for the spider web, like I said, I did it with all one piece of wire and these ones I kind of bent back and forth, but I kind of like the way it looks with the three separate wires. The only disadvantage is it's a little bit tricky to get it started, see? And so I'm just holding it tightly and try not to pull this wire so far that it gets uh, distorted, but you see it's coming along, eh? So it's not too bad. We'll just keep going around. And this is definitely a project that you guys can do. Uh, I guess if you really needed to, you could maybe put some glue in the middle, but I don't even know if it's gonna help because the glue might uh, snap out of place if it's not, if, if you pull too tight on the wire. So let's just keep going around. And at what point do you wanna stop? It just totally, you know, depends on you. So do you see how it's coming? It's really cool. So why don't we just go ahead and Maybe do a couple more. We could even do it till we run out. Let's just do it to, that's pretty good. Why don't we just do it to there? Okay, and so once you have as many twists as you want, we're just going to cut the end like that. And then we have to finish off the edges a little bit. So let's go ahead and pinch that one in. And I apologize again for last week that uh, I, I had the live stream going for about 12 minutes and then suddenly it just died. And what happened was our uh, internet died, literally. And so we didn't have internet for 24 hours. So that was just a fluke, which is unfortunate. But hopefully now that we have a new modem, we have better internet. So we'll see. So I'm going to cut each of these to about a quarter of an inch. Okay, all of these ones, except the top one. I think I'm gonna cut the top one a little bigger so it can make a bigger loop to hang the earring hook on. Okay, so that's gonna, so let's actually start with the top one so I don't forget which one it was. So this is the top wire that the earring hook's gonna go in. So let's just bend it back with the round pliers and then twist it around like that. And I hope I'm not shouting at you guys. I, I can never tell how good my microphone is, but you can always turn down your, computer if, if I'm yelling at you, which is not my intention whatsoever. So let's just keep clicking these to quarter inch around like that. Okay, and then we're gonna see how it looks. So that looks pretty cool, but these are now pokey, so you wanna twist them around. So you can twist them to the back and then they won't really show. I mean, you could twist them so they look like circles, but let's just twist them to the back so they don't really show so much. So we just twist them back in like little, see how I'm doing it? Just like they're little, here, I'll show you on a side angle. So we're gonna go like that and just twist it around back like that. And this is the same thing I do when I make the beaded uh, snowflake. I, instead of winding wire around it, I just fill each line up with beads and then I twist the ends to hold the beads in place. So that's actually a super cool and easy project. You could even buy kits like that in the stores now for those beaded snowflakes, but it's easy to set them up yourself as well. But let's not even talk about Christmas and certainly not talk about snow because we're not ready for that. Tell, uh, tell me in the comments if you guys already have snow. We had snow on the weekend, which is ridiculous. So here is the spider web earring. How cool is that? Yeah, I think it turned out really well, so that's awesome. So let's go ahead and make the spider. And let me just see what wire I'm gonna use for that. This one's a little thick. 
this one. I think I'm going to use this one for the spider. This looks like it's about a 22 gauge. And if you're wondering where I got this wire, I actually got it at Michael's. Let me know if you guys have a Michael's uh, where you are, because Michael's is great. And today they had actually a 55% off coupon. And so I always get the uh, the app on my on my iPod. And then when I go to the store, actually all the stores have um, internet now. So even though I don't have a phone, I could still check when I go to the store. Clarice is very nice. Thank you, Clarice. Thanks so much. So so for the spider, I'm not sure either how much I need. So let's just cut an, again about an 18, uh, 18 inch. You do amazing work, Linda. Oh, thank you. You're a wonderful crafter and you give me inspiration. Thank you so much. That's so awesome. I keep going slow and then pixelated. Ooh, okay. How am I doing with everybody else? Is it getting pixelated? Um, knock on wood, it looks okay from here. I don't know if that's just Joey or if it's everybody's having that problem. So, so guys, so for the spider, um, I haven't thought this one out. You know me too well by now. So I'm thinking maybe we'll do the legs first because, and then we'll add the beads after. So this is for the, for the one with the, um, the one with the, uh, twisty legs. So let's give it a shot. So I'm just going to start randomly here. I'm going to bend it. And because we want the legs to all be the same size, and if I start twisting them right away, I'm going to lose track of how much wire I need for each one. So I'm just going to go ahead and make them quite long. Okay. And I actually didn't even take a peek at the picture that was shared on the Facebook group. So I kind of forget what it looks like, but let's just try this. Okay. So we're going to go back and forth. So I think spiders have eight legs. That's how many I usually put on them anyway. So let's go ahead and bring this back and forth. Okay. This actually might be a little too long. I'm going to see how this is going to look. Yeah. I think this might be a little too long but the idea is just to kind of prepare the legs like that okay yeah actually you know what I think this I was going to do it one way and now I changed my mind and I'm going to do it another way so it might end up being a little bit small so let me save this one and I'm going to try it again I'm going to put that one to the side because I'm thinking those legs are going to be a little short I was going to do eight legs uh, like that but now I'm gonna do like four long legs and then just put the beads in the middle if that makes sense you'll see what I'm doing so there we go so okay so you got snow oh yeah ours didn't stick luckily and it's usually doesn't stick before November so we should be good and I don't I think it's supposed to be raining tomorrow for Halloween which is a bit of a drag okay so let's go ahead and make these a little bit longer so I'm going to do them about like that. They look like they're about two inches long, maybe a little bit longer. So we're just going to go back and forth, trying to stay in the camera, in the focus. So let's go back and forth. And we want four on each side. So we're just going to bend this back and forth. <laughs> it was 85 degrees there. Yeah, don't rub it in. That's uh, that's where everybody I see uh, that lives in Montreal that's heading down south. It's uh, there's always a little bit of twinge of a jealousy. Although I I think I'll even feel worse in in January. Maybe I'll save my traveling for January because then it gets like well here it's Celsius, so it it gets to be like minus 25 minus 20 I'm I really don't even know what that is in Fahrenheit we used to use Fahrenheit but when I was about 11 they changed over to the metric system so everything's in in Celsius now and now I don't even know you know the the conversion I'd have to I'd have to look it up but 85 I know that's warm in fact that might be too warm for me so maybe I'm not jealous at all so so guys here are the here are the legs like that so far and I'm thinking what we're going to want to do is actually secure it in the middle. So what I usually do is I usually do the spider this way anyways without twisting the the legs. So let's go ahead and just take this wire and twist it around, okay, like that. And let me just think I'm thinking as I'm talking here like that and then this one I think we could probably we go like that because we want to finish off this wire too so let's just go ahead 
and twist this one around so we have it nice and secure. We've kind of bundled that up a little bit. So what we have is we have one going straight up like this and now this one I think we're going to put some beads on here. So let's just go ahead and do that now and then we'll twist the wires after. So if you see what I'm going to do, it's bundled up in the middle. I'm going to twist that at a bit of a right angle and then I already got a couple of beads out. So I have this eight millimeter um, a hematite bead. So we're going to put that one on, the eight millimeter one. And uh, you can use any beads you like. This seems to be a good size for what I'm doing here for the, for the two inch legs. And then I have a six millimeter bead. So that's going to be the head. And this is a this is a very, very simplistic design. I'm sure there's all kinds of fancy ones you could do for spiders, but I wanted to keep it pretty simple. So already there's like the head and the body. And then we're going to bend that down like that. And then you want to wrap it around this main wire just to just to hold it in place. So we'll go ahead and wrap it around that main wire like that. Okay, and then clip it off. And then as always, you need some way to hang this up. Doesn't look much like a spider right now, but we're gonna fix it up. Okay, center that. So as always, we'll bend that on a 45 degree angle, get the round pliers, make our nice loop at the top. And I was looking to see if I had gold earring hooks and I know I have some, I just couldn't find them. So what I'll do is I'll just show you what I would do with with the silver ones and then I'll put some gold ones later. I generally don't use the gold hooks because they're they're plated. They're not uh, that great in the if you have sensitive ears, but I generally use the surgical steel um, earring wires and I just find that's better. So here's how it looks so far. It almost looks like, I don't know, like a little flying bug or something. But so now we're going to separate the legs. Okay, we'll just separate the legs a little bit like that. What gauge wire? So this one is a, this could be a 22 or a 20, a 20 is almost too thick for the spider, but I would say about a 22. If you have a D, like some of the wires vary depending on the quality, but if you have a good quality 22 gauge wire, it would work. Or if you have like a thin, thinner quality 20 gauge wire, but I, in that range for sure. And then the spider web, I for the base wire, I used about a 18 or 20, 20 would do too. And then a 22 or 24 for the, for the strings. And I'll, I'll mark it in the, um, for people watching the, the replay. And if you guys want to rewatch or get some more information. I'll put links. Uh, I'll put links to the wire and what uh, size you need and stuff. So in theory, I could actually just bend these. Like you know, sometimes what I do is just bend them up like that. Like I'm just going to show you two examples. I'm actually going to experiment with something else. But if you wanted just to keep it simple, you could in theory just bend it how you want. And then already there's a bit of a spider right there. But because I want to experiment with that, um, this is actually really pretty. I kind of don't want to, I kind of don't want to change it now. Okay, guys, I might regret this, but I'm just going to do it anyways, uh, just to see how it looks with that twisty effect. So say goodbye to this beautiful spider because he's going to get a little bit mangled, but it's all good. I, I should take a picture, but I can't because my iPod is, I'll take a screenshot here. We'll go like that. There we go, and then I'll do a screenshot later. So what we're going to do is actually to twist the wires now, we're going to take, let me move those, we're gonna take the flat pliers and we're going to um, twist. So what we're going to do is just take this, hold the pliers and just twist this around. And let's see what happens. Okay, it's almost, I feel like I'm opening a can, like I'm a can opener and this is, it's kind of funky. It's looking interesting. Okay, I just have to think of what, if I want to squish this in a little bit, maybe just a little bit, because I don't know how much I want to twist it. So let's start with that. Okay, so that's, and we're going to adjust it after. And then this one, I want to make sure I'm not going to be untwisting what I did before. So we're going to go ahead and twist this one. Same idea. I really have to go back to the Facebook page to see who made this, uh, the twisted uh, spider. 
I feel really bad I didn't check before I got on the live stream, but I was at yoga class and I zipped home to do the live and I didn't get a chance to check who it was. So I am going to go check and see. So what we're doing now is just twisting these around and trying to make sure I twist them in the right direction. And then that way they're all going to look a little, just a little bit more fancy because they'll be twisted. And you want to be careful not to scratch your wire as well. And if your wire is too soft, you really don't want to, um, you don't want to squish it right through because some wires are very fragile. Like if you're using the aluminum wire, you have to be super careful because if you pinch it too much, it's just going to snap. The copper wire is a little more forgiving. And then I've had some members of the group that tell me they use steel wire and I really don't recommend the steel wire. It's super hard and uh, not only are, are you going to hurt your hands doing it, but also the steel wire tends to tarnish unless you have like a shiny stainless steel wire. But even at that, steel wire is very, um, it's very gray. It doesn't, it, and I find it not very lively. Whereas this copper wire is much more lively. If you use the artistic copper wire, they have the non-tarnish wire in many different colors. And I just find it, I find it to be a beautiful wire. In fact, I wish that they had had it when I started making wire jewelry 30 years ago because, um, because it would have been a lot easier. So Brandy says, I use galvanized steel wire for my rings. Interesting. And what is the color like? Like, I think steel could be good if you want sort of a more either antique -y or steampunky or rustic look. Uh, it just, uh, but let me know uh, what that wire is like because I've never used it. I've seen galvanized steel. Uh, it sounds like a nightmare to work with, but uh, any steel that I've worked with has been very, very hard. Like I've used stainless steel and I find it uh, very hard to work with and I wouldn't use it to do something like this. But uh, there's so many different kinds of wires and so many different qualities of wire. I, I sometimes use sterling silver. I actually usually purchase it on Etsy. Um, on Etsy, you can, um, there's suppliers that sell something called uh, uh, argentium silver. And what argentium silver is, it's like sterling, but it's supposed to be a low tarnish wire. And I've used it before. I've bought it before. It comes in half hard and they call it DS, which is dead soft, so it's very soft, or or HH is half hard. So you could get the two different kinds. So guys, here, this is the back of the spider. Uh, let me bring it up close. It looks kind of cool. And then let's flip it over. So this is how it looks with the, with the twisted legs. And then what you want to do is, first of all, make sure the beads are centered. It actually looks really cool. And then what you want to do is, let's get the pliers. I think I'm going to get my round, bigger pliers. Oh, Brandy, you wrote a big note. Let's see. I, I, I like tough steampunk look. And it's okay. The first wire I've, I've used, the more I work with it, the duller it gets. But I like the look. That's it. Exactly that. That's Sometimes that's the look that you're getting for. And you can't afford anything. Yeah, so if that's the most affordable wire you can use, and if you like the look, um, awesome, you know, and there's certainly a huge market for steampunk punk jewelry. I haven't done a lot of steampunk, but I love the idea. The other thing I would love to try is chain mail. I don't know if any of you guys have tried chain mail, but uh, I definitely would like to try even some simple designs like that. So once you have your spider done, let's just kind of bend the arms up arms. Why am I calling these arms? Like legs, I guess it would be. They're all legs. And then we're going to just bend them. This is assuming you're going to do a earring, but I'll show you if you want to make it standing up, you can do that too. So let's just bend these in a way that it's going to look like an earring. I think I'll bend this one. Sometimes I put, uh, sometimes I put three legs down, one leg up, but it's totally up to you what you want to do. So if we're going to do an earring, and let's show them up like that, that would be the earrings like that. Love it. Clarice says she loves it. Awesome. So Clarice, 
don't stay up till midnight making these because I know you, you're always so quick to make things, but I absolutely can't wait to see what you make based on this. But if you guys want to make it for Halloween, you might have to stay up till midnight. So, but I love it too. And I'm definitely going to find out who uh, shared that idea on Facebook because I think it's so cute with the twisted legs. It just gives it a nice little uh, effect. It's cool, eh? Yeah, the spider's awesome. So now let's just try uh, stepped... Step two is, because this one's flat, you see if it just lays flat. But if you did want to do a spider that stands on the table, in theory, you could just push this away or just, it ends here. So you could actually, in theory, cut this off or let's just bend it to the back because we have nothing to lose. So let's just bend it back. If you want to hide that loop so it doesn't look like an earring anymore, we can hide it. And then what you want, if you want to do a standing spider, I would have actually made these legs longer and but what I would do is bend them I'll put it on the side so you can see I would bend them up and down if I wanted a standing spider like that sometimes I know at markets people sell these like little wire spiders and stuff but if if you had made these legs longer it would be uh, like more effective as a standing spider but I'm just going to try it as a fun afterthought to see how it's going to look because the idea would be you want this the legs going up and down and up and down so it could actually stand uh, it's not going to work super well because the legs are short but the idea is it could in theory just be a like a little thing that stands on the table so let's just try to adjust these yeah if i was going to do the standing spider with the same size beads I might make the full, like, see, it was about like that, the, where I zigzag the wire back and forth, it was a couple inches, so maybe at least three inches if I was going to make it standing. Oh, but it's not even bad. Like, it it kind of stands. Just, I just, you'll want to adjust it so all the legs, like, kind of touch. Well, they don't all have to touch the table, but it's kind of cute if they do. So what I'm going to do is let me flip the screen around, So, or I'll bring it down so you guys can see it. And because uh, this is really the only major project I'm the only project I'm doing today. I was just showing you the other stuff and I'll link up. Let me bring it down. I'll link up the other videos below. So where's spider? There it is. So there's there's this one like that. And then here is the standing spider, which is really come on, focus. There we go. So we're gonna go like that. So so the, the loop that was supposed to be the to hang up the earring, I've bent underneath. And there is the standing spider. So if you make the legs just a little bit longer than I did when with the sample, it would it would work even better. But actually, you know what? You don't even have to make them that much longer. It works pretty well like that. And otherwise, you can make the earrings. So that's cool. So let me uh, flip the screen. Spider's cute. Yeah, I like the spider. So there we go, guys, and I think that's going to be it for today and tomorrow. Uh, no live stream because we're going downtown for Halloween. And if you guys have any special requests, be sure to uh, pop them in the comments of the replay or in the Facebook page. For those of you who don't know the Facebook page, it's the Wire Art and Jewelry Making Makers Club. And we have, wow, we reached 300 members this week. Uh, it's, uh, it's really amazing. Everybody seems to be super interested. And I love it when you guys share your stuff. I've already, I'm already accumulating a little folder of, for the um, slideshow number four of all your creations. So that's awesome. And uh, yeah, so love it. Very cute, adorable, sweet Hall Halloween embellishments. Absolutely. So if you don't want to wear them, you can even make these exact designs bigger to be decorations too. So that's awesome. And yeah, so we'll definitely, we'll try to be back on track next week for the Wednesday live stream, nine o'clock. That seems to be a good time for everybody. Keep sharing your stuff in the in the group and uh, I'll definitely see you next week and uh, see you during the week. And if you make these uh, and uh, if you don't have Facebook, you can email me pictures to info at heatherboydwire.com. I don't know if you guys know, but there's a community tab on the page that I've been sharing uh, pictures of your of your work and stuff, which is really amazing. So I wish you all a very happy Halloween and we will see you on Facebook and next week.